right? So mic check one two. Mic check one two three four. Where is the? Oh, it's not working. It's working all right. Come on, baby, work. <laughs> okay, let's see what we have here. All right, there we go. Yeah, it's working now. There we go. Ah, oh, let me get my uh, drink here. There we go. Ah. Well, this isn't as cold as I would like it to be, but uh, it ought to still get the old wrinkles out of the robe, if you know what I'm saying. Mm. Ah. So what is going on? Welcome, everybody. Welcome. Hit that like button as you come in and share it, if you don't mind. Share the care on another um, quarantine podcast. <laughs> this is my second day off, two of three. This is generally my favorite day off. This is the kind of a lazy day. Yes, you know, that first day you have off, you got to run around and, you know, you get the honey-do list and had to go over and, you know, cut the grass and all that kind of stuff. And, um, so, yeah, yeah, run around and get some stuff, but, um, you know, so be it. And today I get to um, uh, just do nothing. It's like a nothing day. I will be able to, um, excuse me, I will be able to play, my, get my gaming in, get caught up on the news and all that kind of good stuff. So, um, so yeah, and uh, what you can see here, got a couple things to talk about, and um and going to keep it moving. So I should be here about an hour or so. And I'll take a little, if anybody's got any questions or anything about what we're going to talk about. Um, the PS5 news is that I'm going to try to um, uh, talk about the IO system and SSD that the PS5 has. And um, I'm going to talk about how it looks like this is the way AMD is going to be going in the future. Like their RDNA2 architecture and what they're going to focus on versus what they're not going to focus on. and um, But again, we'll have to wait and see if this is what they're going to do. Very good chance this is what their big knobby will be similar to. But uh, again, this is just me as somebody who, is in, who has money tied up in AMD because I invested, I think it was $17 a share. And if you all listened to me last year, I specifically said, hey, let's go buy some AMD stock. It's 17 bucks a share. And uh, or maybe it was 18 bucks a share. So, yeah, I said, everybody get 100 bucks. Let's go buy five shares of AMD stock. And that's what you should have done. And if you've done that, your shares have increased about, about two and a half times. I think at close yesterday, it was around $49 a share. A share. So, um, so yeah. yeah. Let me change that up there. Let me change my... Uh, media source and because uh, that's not a very long let's see what this one is I don't know how long these are I haven't seen them in such a long time so um, uh, yeah well Sony is always Sony AMD because they make stuff their stock will always be good to get into so, yeah. But, all right. But, uh, so, welcome, everybody. Shout out to the people that are here. Hit that like button. Uh, let me give a rundown here on who's here because I'm not I'm not at the right screen. 
So um, let's see here. PlayStation 5, Ultimate Gaming Console. What's going on? My Razi, how you doing? Eric, what's happening? E1 Matador, what's happening? The Almighty Spartan God, what's going on? Um, Social Joins, how you doing? Kevin Green, I assume the football player. Are you the football player, Kevin Green? You play for the Steelers? Uh, let's see what's happening there. Um, let's see here. Uh, Cardinal Pale got released, I guess. Oh, my goodness. We get out of here with that, Malarazzi. Come on now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got a little Mike's Hard Lemonade here. Uh, if you all don't know, YouTube has initiated brand new uh, terms and conditions. Everybody should have gotten a m the monthly letter. If you didn't, uh, but pretty much it uh, pretty much says that you are going to be now held accountable for what you say on your live streams. Uh, for people who do not know that, so if you're on your live stream and you're lying your butt off, let me make this clear: you're lying. <laughs> you're going to have some issues. You are going to have some issues with YouTube. They can demonetize you. They can suspend your account indefinitely. Stuff like that. Uh, so, uh, Cryptopsy, how you doing? So, uh, I am drinking Mike's Hard Lemonade. So, that is the drink of the hour for me. So, uh, that's my favorite drink. Now, I prefer it from the tap. But, uh, of course, you can't get that. So, uh, I'm, uh, they, got them, they had them on sale. I went ahead and uh, when I got off work Sunday, I stopped at the store and got me a six-pack. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm a drink. I'm drinking two today, and I already ate two cheeseburgers this morning. That's that's what's, that's what's good about being grown. You don't have to wait till dinner time to eat a cheeseburger. You just get up and make them. So, <laughs> but what's going on? Plus Ultra, how are you doing? Um, ah, Phaedrus, Socrates, how you doing? So, been a while since I've seen you. So, Shadow the Ghost, how are you doing? Uh, what's going on there, Lee? Harry Tran, what's happening, Harry Tran? What is happening? <laughs> Rice Eater 79, okay. <laughs> what is happening? Cyber Dragon, how you doing? So, um, yeah, Xbox fans are scared, spreading lies. Yeah, they're 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 spreading lies because they are scared. So, uh, yeah, yeah, No Man's Sky did get mechs. If you're still playing No Man's Sky, you can you can get a mech now and walk around those planets, which I think is really good. So, which I think is really good. So. <laughs> ah. Well, PlayStation 5, um, you need to be worried about them because they, you don't have to be monetized. If you have a channel and you, you're lying about a bunch of stuff, they can just block your channel. They'll take your channel away. So, Sunny in VR, how are you doing, brother? How are you doing? So, glad to see you again. Uh, let me make a shout out to everybody that's been supporting for a while. Uh, big shout out to G G, G Wiz. I, I want to uh, Jemiah Dixon and Sick Humor. They came on yesterday, short notice. I mean that wasn't planned. Uh, so always good hearing from them dudes. So uh, I certainly hope everybody's doing okay, staying healthy, doing your social distancing, sort of speak or people distancing. You want to stay connected socially. Excuse me. But, um, yeah, just try to be smart about it. I get it. Uh, you don't have to walk outside with a mask on. So, um, you know, it's, a, well, it's not what they're doing now. They announced it months ago. Like, YouTube, for me, YouTube, for me, you can, they actually can block people for you. So I am set up to block anybody that leaves comments that does not have a, that's not a content creator. So I get a list of people who I can just block, <laughs> and if and I and I do the I do the research. I go on. I'm like, well, if they're a content creator, I'm not gonna block them. Let me make that clear. I, I will not block you if you're a content creator. Uh, even if you say something crazy because you're creating you're you're creating content, I'm not gonna block you. If you're just somebody in the chat who's on some BS and and, I, and you're not a content creator then guess what? You're going to be blocked. You just are. That's just the way it's going to be from now on. So, um, because nobody has time for you all for, for the stupidity. Okay, there's a there's a great, there's a cartoon that used to come on called Ren and Stimpy. And one time, Ren just looked at Stimpy and said, you're an idiot. 
I am so sick and tired of your stupidity. So, I mean, it's just, I thought it was fantastic the way he said it. And I'm just sick and tired of these people's stupidity. You know, so, but uh, yeah, Inside Xbox is going to be fired. Oh, there you go. I mean, I'm not here to say it won't be. You know, and, and whoever watches it, uh, I certainly hope you get everything you want. I heard they're going to talk about Gears Tactics and uh, possibly Grounded, which is fine. Maybe we'll even hear something about Battletoads. So, again, I'm not here to say you won't. So, so he says, you're off work until August, September, but you'll get 80% of your wages. Uh, well, at technically, Gamingator, you can go file unemployment for the other 20%. I don't know if you know that or not. Uh, this is anybody who's on unemployment. If your job says we're gonna we're gonna send you home, but we're gonna give you eighty percent of your pay, you can go file unemployment on the other twenty percent to make up for it. Just if you didn't know that, you should look into it. So, how old is Zaddy? Uh, I don't know. I mean, Zaddy is a group of men that um, that these clowns use as a metric. And the problem is that when you use another man's standard as the metric of success, that same metric can be turned against you. That's what's happening right now. They are, there are people who are just dying because Bleeding Edge is a first party game. They can't say that they didn't have time because they've owned Ninja Theory Studio for what? Uh, has it been a year or two? So they, they can't say Ninja Theory ain't had enough time. That game is straight trash. I mean, it got a 63, not according to me, but according to Zaddy. And they can't stand that. These cats can't stand that. So uh, what time does that, Travis? I think OBJ comes on at 3 o'clock. Also, I saw a tweet yesterday, and I don't know how true it is, talking about that at noon Pacific time, that um, or noon Eastern time, 9 a.m. Pacific time, that Sony was going to have a deep dive into their architecture, but I don't think that's true. So I don't think that's true. So, um, yeah, a lot of states are on lockdown because of COVID-19. So um, all the government has to do is pass a law to mandate wearing masks. Then if they're going to pass a law to mandate it, they have to provide the common citizens with masks. That's why they, they, can, they can't mandate it. They can just suggest it. They can say, yeah, that's a suggestion and we're going and we recommend you do it. But they, since they're not going to provide it, they can't make you do it. You see what I'm saying? So they can't make you do things. Um, you know, even the, even the state, the social distancing, I was I went walking before I started my podcast. I live right across the street from a park. I walked and uh, there were people at the park holding hands. Now, I mean, that's so they're not social distancing from each other. They can't make them do it. So it's just something they recommend that you do. Hmm. Uh, so, uh, but again, that's just, but for anybody who is on unemployment, if, you're, if your job is paying you 70%, 60%, um, you actually can file unemployment on the part of the income that you are missing. So, again, that's just, I thought, and if you didn't know that, just check that out. So, but, um, but yeah, you're in the UK, that's coming from the UK government. Yeah, well, I don't know how the UK government works with, on their unemployment. But, if yeah, they're, if they're saying people to stay home through the summer and they're going to pay you, eh, that's actually not bad. <laughs> that's actually not bad. Ah. So, but let's get into the news real quick. As you know, uh, the the internet was ablaze yesterday by some gentleman that said from Crytek, he's a developer at Crytek, and I uh, said that the PS5 Inside was gonna... Xbox Megaton Premiere Ray Tracing 8K Dolphins. There you go, Eric. Thanks for the super chat. Very good. Yeah, who knows what they're going to show. I'm not... <laughs> Look, I'm not here to say what they're going to show because I'm not buying an Xbox again. I mean, I can't do it. I've had my fun on it. It was... It, I had a good time. Uh, I, I shout out the crap gamer. He said, Phil said they were going to bring back, uh, um, you know, exclusive content only for Xbox. That's great for the people that are going to be in that ecosystem. I'm not going to be in that ecosystem. So, uh, said so inside, I actually, I was at two o'clock, uh, Pacific or 5 p.m. Eastern. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Again, I'm not, I, I'm not going to watch it. 
<laughs> whatever they do does not affect me. Uh, if they do Gears Tactics, I'll I'll do some more info on that, and I'll talk about it tomorrow because I'm going to buy Gears Tactics on my PC. If they show Flight Sim, I'll, I'm buying Flight Sim. I'm just going to buy it on my PC. See what I'm saying? So, um, but yeah, so this guy apparently they're saying that he um, that he retracted his comments, which is not true. He ne he has not come out today, at least not yet to my knowledge, and retracted his comments. His comments have been removed. That's totally different than a retraction. Okay, <laughs> that is totally different than a retraction. So a retraction would be you make a mistake in print, then you come out with an article or a short retraction saying, well, you made a mistake. You see what I'm saying? Uh, he didn't do that. Uh, this really reminds me of, of a few months ago when Sony said, when a Sony developer put out, come and develop for the world's fastest console or something like that, and then they removed it. They took it down. Well, it still turned out to be true. It still turned out to be the world's fastest console. The PS5 is the fastest console ever made, known to mankind. Okay, so, um, so we're so so um, this guy he may have told the truth. It may be the PS5 very well could be easier to develop for than it, than the Xbox Series X, but we'll, we but uh, they took it down. That doesn't mean he didn't tell the truth, though. So, mm. uh, Mega Devo, as soon as I get my um, uh, computer upgraded with an SSD, which I have right here, I promise you, it's a. Uh, that's it. I've got a 250 um, gigabyte SSD from Samsung. Um, it's, and I'm going to try to take my computer to the shop next. Um, Next, I can't take it Thursday. Yeah, maybe Thursday. Maybe Thursday. I can get it into the shop Thursday and um, go pay for the upgrade on Friday and then pick it up on the 25th. That's probably what I'll end up doing. So I'll, but, but yeah, the first game I'm going to download is Star Citizen. But they do recommend you have an SSD for Star Citizen. So. And uh, yeah, so I'll be playing it. So, <laughs> what is up, 901? What is happening there, my brother? Hopefully, you're doing okay. Um, Zaddy has stock in Bleeding Edge. Well, maybe. That, I'm not here to say Bleeding Edge is a bad game. I've never played it. I just know it got a 60 something on Metacritic. And, uh, and to these X bots, if you want to call them that, start recognizing. Um, start uh, recognizing that. Uh, yeah, I, I will. I will. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'll, I'll probably need some help setting it up. <laughs> but I'll be, um, I mean, my goal, I didn't want to take the computer in and not have my GPU. But that literally, you know, when the money came in off of Google AdSense to get the soup, to get the uh, GPU, you know, it everything shut down. Like, everything is shut down. I would just walk up to Best Buy which would take me 15 minutes and I could buy it. It's like right there. But um, I can't do that. You know, I, I want to be able to walk in the store and walk out of the store with the GPU. And um, I, I can't do that. It, it's it's very frustrating. <laughs> so uh, to not be able to just walk into the store and buy it, you can't, I just, it's very frustrating. Hopefully that changes here in the next week or two. But I, I really am, I really don't want to put the computer in the shop, get it upgraded, then three week then three weeks later be able to walk into Best Buy, get my GPU, they have to put it right back in the shop. So um mm. Crytek Dev repeated previously known stuff that he spilled the beans more on XSS limitation. Well again, there's other developers that are saying the same stuff, but they are not going into as vicious detail. But what the Remedy Dev said yesterday was, to me, was the bigger story. That was a much bigger story because um, uh, that that was the much bigger story for simply simply because um, um, they confirmed what Mark Cerny said. They said that the SSD, the Remedy, 
again, third party developer said that the SSD was going to fundamentally change the way developers can develop content. And that there are games that are going to be on the PS5 that they are not even going to be able to make on PC for another year or two. So, I mean, again, and that, he, I mean, Remedy is saying that, and so did, and shout out to Cortec. I think I left his link here. Uh, yeah, it's called, the link here is called AMD's Checkmate. That YouTube watch, it says right there, that's from Cortec. So, um, and again, I've got some cliff notes, some Cortex video that I'm going to be going over because I do think the IO and the way the IO and SSD communicate is, is the game changer next generation. But we'll have to wait and see the way Sony deploys it. So, um, but yeah, I agree. I, I mean, I think they're correct. I, I mean, the way that the SSD is going to be deployed it's, I mean, you got these idiot fanboys saying, well, the only thing the SSD can do is store, which is not true. It's just simply not true. So, you know, just it is the way it is. So, uh, you're a clinical engineer. Yeah, but yeah, that's definitely <laughs> more work. That's definitely more work. Uh, both X, so yeah, they're both game changers. I'm not here to say that they're not. <laughs> I mean, I'm not here to say that they're not. So, but um, let's see here. Hmm. Uh, people are looking at teraflops, and that's all. That's a, uh, I don't disagree with that, and even Zaddy has said that. But it's like, even though Zaddy says that, they don't care about that. It's like that doesn't register to them. And um, I understand just by building a computer that um, I want the computer to be more efficient and not bottleneck my stuff. So when I put in the, I understand when I put in my new CPU because of the GPU that I have, I'm going to run into some bottlenecks on my games uh, because, you know, until I get my new GPU, that's just the way it's going to be. Now, the SSD may help. I don't know. I haven't seen it from an SSD. But the main game I'm going to be playing when I get the new stuff put in is going to be Star Citizen and stuff like that. I'll be getting back more into my Sims. And uh, for, to have a good simulator experience, that's mostly being derivative from the CPU. So, but, uh, yeah, what's going on, Ice Queen? So, Ice Queen had a mask on. That's cool. That is cool. So, but, yeah, it's, uh, let's see here. Kill Media already confirmed ray tracing. The quadrant did say a lot about the stuff. Uh, might be. Uh, it all lines up with Cerny said about it. Yeah, I mean, again, that, that's that's true. That is, um, I, I mean, I understand that. If it, it, that the Xbox is going to have either they're going to have unused resources or they're going to have resources constantly deployed that that are going to possibly cause a bottleneck. You know, and I'm not here to. I don't care. It, it doesn't matter. matter. Six TF yeah. on 2017. Look how that went. Yeah, shout out to you, one matador for the two dollar holler. Yeah, T flops do not matter. OK, and if you if you think they do, then explain to me why uh, Zaddy has said that um, the best looking game this entire generation, which is last seven years so far, the best looking game they said was Death Stranding. That game is on the PlayStation Pro and that's running at four T flops. You did. I mean, that's that's reality, right? It's the that's that is the reality. So what's a bottleneck? Um. It's hard to explain what it is. It's just the inf the way you're going to be getting the the way you get information to and fro can cause a bottleneck. Okay, so if my GPU, I have an AMD 580. Shout out to the community for the donation. That runs fine. That runs fine as long as I have say a Ryzen. Say I have a 1600X as the CPU. Those two actually balance each other. Okay, but if I put a Ryzen 2600X onto that 580, and then I, and it's going to possibly cause a bottleneck because the CPU is going to be, it's going to be, a, you know, a, exerting itself against that GPU. So then, now all of a sudden my computer isn't as efficient and I start bottlenecking the information. I can't get the information to where it needs to go because the CPU is processing faster than the GPU can take it. So just imagine having a gallon of milk sitting there. And you have a and you have a one ounce glass or a four ounce glass, 
and you start pouring the one gallon of milk, once you get to the four ounce mark, you're going to have what? It's going to start spilling because the, the, the milk is full. So then I have to do what? Because the milk is going to keep going. My information isn't going to stop coming, right? Right. So what Sony has done is that milk that's going to spill over, they've got a fat pipe that's going to still take the information and get it to where it needs to go. Xbox does not have that. They don't have that in their system. So again, I'll, I'll just read you the I.O. for the Series X. The Series X has 2.4 uh, gigabytes raw, and they have 4.8 gigabytes compressed. Okay? The PlayStation 5 is 5.5 gigabytes raw and 8, 8, 8 to 9 gigabytes compressed. Okay, so that is a huge difference in the and how fast your information is going to be going. So Xbox's information is going to arrive a lot slower. It's not it's not a matter of the T flop. Okay, the T flop is just a um, it's theoretical. But this information, remember, math is free. Information costs money. Information is where you're getting your money at. So and again, if you watch the Cortex video, he does it a lot better. So and Nvidia added two processors to help with the compressed data. It's called fixed function. Nvidia calls this fixed function. Uh, 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 she won't know what that is. It's just a choke point. Okay. If if you saw the movie Three Hundred, how many of y'all saw the movie Three Hundred? If you see the movie Three Hundred, when Laura and Otis and them were fighting, the when the Three Hundred men were fighting Xerxes' army. Okay, when they were fighting Xerxes' army, they bottlenecked Xerxes' army so that they all had to come through one one part, and that took their that took the number advantage that Xerxes' army had away. He bottlenecked them. Okay, they bottlenecked them. If you watch the movie Avatar, when the when the Navi attacked the humans at the very big battle at the end. They they would not they they attacked them where their radar didn't work. They bottlenecked them up in high in the mountains so that their radar wouldn't work. So it's still the humans still were superior. They still had superior technology. Just like in 300, Xerxes still had more people, but because of that bottleneck, the um, the Spartans were able to hold them off for as long as they did. So, but um. So Ice Queen said you're missing having the subway. Oh, they shut the subway down? Yeah, 901, they both have a fat pipe, but uh, the PS fat, fat pipe is much faster. So, yeah, Cryptopsy, yeah, there's a bottle, there's a, the bottleneck, there's a weak link, and the weak leak is the RAM. But again, I'm not here to run on the, the Xbox Series X. I'm just going to read about the PS5. Now, this is kind of cliff notes I took from Cortex, and I, I, I implore you all to go watch a Cortex video. But uh, let's see here. Uh, let's see if I can read this. So the RAM on the PS5, it's going to have data for, for the next one second uh, available. So at low latency. So with high bandwidth. So, so Sony went with less CUs to prevent the bottleneck. So when you hear people talking about, well, it's only got 36 CUs, well, if they increased them, you would have gotten a bottleneck because they have a higher bandwidth, all right? That's just what Sony did. So it says, fundamentally, PlayStation 5 will be able to create games of people, the developers, that are not on PC. So fundamentally, and the way I can, uh, because they're going to have this smart shift technology, so... If you play Horizon Zero Dawn Part 2 and Aloy is walking down a road or walking down a trail, let's just say it doesn't, the, C, the CPU is processing that and the GPU doesn't have to do a whole lot of work. The GPU is going to actually shift resources to, it's called Smart Shift. The GPU will actually shift resources to the CPU so that they have a shared. Uh, they have they're sharing the process and that takes that takes the pain off of your CPU because if your CPU can only do so much. So actually game goons, this is coming from Cortex, so I'm sorry, but uh, you know, the 300 Spartans also has shorter swords. And yeah, you're right, VG, you're right, but my point is about the bottleneck. So Subway is a sandwich place in the UK. Oh, 
Well, so I thought you took a subway in the UK. So, uh, also having different RAM speed, they also have different timing and use efficiency even more. Yeah, I agree with that. I agree with that. But all that will come out. <laughs> what you're saying is 100% correct. Yeah, but all that will come out about Xbox later. I mean, I'm not here to talk about the Xbox. I mean, again, Xboxes, uh, they have 2.4 gigabytes raw. PlayStation's got 5.5 raw. The PlayStation is twice as fast. It is twice as fast. So uh, Series X has 4.8 gigabytes per second compressed. PlayStation 5 is 8, 8 to 9 gigabytes compressed. Again, this is all confirmed stuff. You guys can look this up yourself. So... Uh, but you're looking at something delivering information twice as fast at a higher bandwidth. So you're going to get better, more efficient. But uh, let's see, PS5's fast NVMe drive to help with the latency. They, they're going to have a very fast NVMe drive in there to help with your latency. This is all coming from the Cortec video. So I'm going to quote um, something uh, from, I believe, an AMD technician from... From about from a decade ago, uh, this is about graphics. It says graphics need high bandwidth systems in the past because it had its own memory system. HSA shares that task. What PlayStation did was go more of an HSA route to share it, to share all this all this stuff. So again, it's like going to a table. Imagine going to a smorgasbord and you have three plates. If you know you have a tray, you got three plates. So you can put more stuff on each plate and then share it all together. Um, but uh, this is the H HSA say, shares the task. The first system that had HSA working on it was the cell architecture. The cell architecture was spearheaded by no under no other than Lisa Su. Okay, Lisa Su worked on the tech. Uh, it wasn't used until the PS3. That's why they were saying how how advanced the PS3. That's why people will tell you the PS3 was so much more advanced than the Xbox. Okay, and the Xbox and it was based on the HSA tech that they were deploying. What's up, Corey Massey? And again, great job by Corey Massey the other day taking no Russian to school, and uh, he did it very respectfully. He wasn't being a jerk or or a shield. He sat up there and was really trying to help No Russian out, and No Russian was still arguing with him, you know. So, <laughs> so, uh, but I brought up what you uh, did, Corey Match. I brought up the 27 Super and compared it to the 2080, and the 2080 is slightly better in some, but it's not that much better. So, uh, it says the bandwidth I'm talking about is how the I/O speaks to the CPU, GPU, SSD. But the memory interface is wider. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I, again, we're, I'm talking about the shared HSA as far as it being efficient. I'm not talking about the Series X. I mean, somebody else will talk about the Series X, and that's fine. I'm not buying a Series X. So it can do, it, it can have a, I know it has, it's not going to deliver the information as fast. I know that already. It's not going to be as efficient as the PlayStation 5. I'm not here to say it's more powerful or less powerful. I'm not here saying the PS5. Is more powerful. I am definitely not saying that. So, uh, but now PS5's Kraken is going to be hardware accelerated. The co the coherency engines will handle that will help with the CPU and GPU. Okay, as as I discussed, HSA was first used on PS3, and Lisa Su spearheaded that. There's a reason why Lisa Su is in charge at AMD. If you don't understand that, it's a reason why. So. Uh, Lisa Sue is there. Uh, RDNA is primarily going to be their gaming architecture, talking about AMD, where CDNA is going to be more data driven. So, and a uh, very good chance, and everybody's waiting to see this with the Navi architecture that's coming down the road, that there's going to be less emphasis on CUs and more on fixed functions. But that's what everybody's waiting on. That's what everybody's waiting on. Not nah, Eric, that's Mass Effect gameplay. So that is Mass Effect gameplay. So again, SSD integration will allow for faster load times and, and let developers create larger worlds. That's that's that got confirmed yesterday by Remedy. So you don't have to worry. If they want to say Mark Cerny's lying and all that kind of stuff, fine. But is Remedy lying too? Eh, probably not. 
you know, so it just, it is what it is. But again, cDNA is about data. RDNA is going to be more for gaming. Uh, in the future, the way AMD's roadmap is, it's going to be less emphasis on CUs and more on fixed functions. So we're going to have to see how that plays out in the future. So uh, the PS5 devs assess to full power out the gate. The devs won't have to find hacks. They just need to build their games and control their power users. Yeah, which is pretty much, um, is that's good news for them. But again, remember that what they're doing is more... <laughs> The coherency engines will handle uh, this stuff between the GPU and CPU. That was very important. And uh, so, again, we'll have to wait and see how it works. I'm excited about it. But uh, I'm excited about how they're going to have the smart shift technology because, again, if one <laughs> – and like I said, if Aloy is walking down to the stream to get water and that's all – that's all going to be driven by a certain percentage of the CPU, then the GPU will come and help it. It's not just going to sit there and do nothing, you know. So Xbox need there to be a problem with PS5 so people will think the Series X is good. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing wrong with the Series X. If that's what you're going to buy, you need to do the research into it. I'm not buying one. I know Foxy Games UK, he's buying one. So is BitCloud. So they may do podcasting based on what Series X is going to be doing. Me just looking at this, their uh, IO, the way they're going to be sharing information is, um, again, Series X, 2.4 gigabytes per second raw. And I like saying raw. Sony's has a five, is 5.5 gigabytes. Well, uh, you're looking at Sony is two times faster with that. Okay. Uh, then uh, Series X has 4.8 gigabytes compressed, and Sony's is going to be delivering eight, eight to nine gigabytes per second compressed. So again, I'm not. That's that's the real deal, Holyfield, right there. I don't have to bash the Series X. That there's a, that, that's those are your numbers. So Don's going to have a cheeseburger and a can of beer. Now you're talking. They need exclusives. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's nothing. If that's what you want, then yeah, that's it. The smart ship thing is automatic. Um, with Navi architecture, apparently it is. So that's why I'm getting that my Navi car because I want my games to run extremely efficiently. Uh, efficient. If I'm going to be playing Star Citizen, I don't want the emphasis on graphics. If I'm in combat, I want the efficiency to be more towards the 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 frames. Okay, now that's just the way I'm going to be playing Star Citizen. So, um, so this don't see a reason to buy. Oh, okay, well, Game Air, yeah, you don't have to announce it. If you don't want to buy one, just don't buy one. So, yeah, I mean, I'm not buying one because they, there's, there's nothing on there I want to play. I don't want to play Grounded. I don't want to play Bleeding Edge. I don't want to play Battletoads. I mean, I'm not, those games aren't for me. You know, I just, they're not. You know, I, I am a mature gamer. I want to play stuff like um, The Last of Us Part Two, where, you know, I can be driving, I can shoot people in the face and all that kind of stuff. And they want to say, well, what about Hellblade? I can play Hellblade on my PC. You know, I can play that on my PlayStation. I can't play Hellblade 2, but I can play that on my PC. Uh, the flight sim game, again, I will be playing on my PC. I mean, I'm not knocking what they got. It's just there's no reason... For me to buy their console to when I can play those games on my PC. So this it is what it is. So and again, if you want the console, what's up, Gerald Sims? Which is the best round around console right now? Um it depends on what you want to play, Gerald. I mean, um uh, look, uh, the Xbox community is caught up in power. My opinion on that is because they don't have anything exclusive to play on their platform. So they want the third-party developers, like an EA or Rockstar Games, they want those third-party developers to go out of their way and do something special with the hardware Microsoft gave them. They don't have a Zelda like Nintendo does. Nintendo's got Zelda exclusively. They've got Mario exclusively. Um, PlayStation has the Uncharted series exclusively. They've got God of War, and so they have studios that will take the hardware Sony gives them, and they'll squeeze all the juice out of that apple, so to speak. Microsoft doesn't have that. So a lot of their fanboys, not all of them, 
a lot of their fanboys are caught up in, well, Microsoft has to have more power because if they don't have that, because our studios suck. They suck. So that's why they make a big deal when Microsoft purchases a studio. That's why they made a big deal, even though that's what Microsoft should be doing in the first place. That's like going to the liquor store and you walking out with a fifth of, of alcohol. Well, it's a liquor store. You didn't go in there to buy chewing gum. So this is, I mean, but that's my opinion. So, so you're not buying another Xbox. Oh, that's fine. I mean, again, I'm not here to tell you what to buy. So, I mean, again, if you like the content, hit the uh, like button and uh, hit the share button. Um, so, uh, so Xbox is probably going to fail again next gen. Well, again, I'm not buying one. I don't want it to fail. Um, I, I know people that are buying them. Like I said, BitCloud's buying one. Foxy Games is buying one. Um, I'm not going to sit here and say, I hope the game, I hope it fails. As I can tell you, I will not be purchasing one. You know? <laughs> so, <laughs> so, um, so the PS5 will push out the best graphics performer each day. Uh, God of Games, we have to wait and see. I'm just reading you the numbers, and I left a link in the description called AMD's Checkmate. That is by Cortec, but he seems to think the way Sony with their IO and with the integration of the with the integration of the SSD, that was the check, that was game over for this generation because Sony's gonna be able to fundamentally do different stuff that Microsoft can't do. Now we have to wait and see. That's that's what he is saying. He's much more of a um, uh, of a he's much more of a tech fanboy than anything. He doesn't care about the console either, so at all. So he and you know, see Fox. He just tweeted saying Star Citizen might be going to PS5 and X Series X because of the SSD. Yeah, that's fine. I I, I, heard, I hope he's right. But uh, I will be I will be playing that on PC. There's no reason for me to play that on a console. Okay, it's just not set up well on console. So, but I hope he's right. Elite Dangerous is there. So, um, Don says, if you get an Xbox, you only add friends you know that. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, again, I'm not buying one, but if you do, cool. Um, yeah, 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 I know. I know, but they have smart shift technology, uh, Tarasi Gray. Yeah. Yeah, RDNA one is only is the fifty five, the fifty six, and the fifty seven hundred XTs. Yeah, so um, yeah, yeah, but they both have, but all those cards have smart shift. So PS five sounds more crazier than more details we get. Uh, Cerny again, probably look. Microsoft has done a much better job. Um, uh, diluting or putting out information to the public. They've done a much better job than Sony has. So Sony is going to have to drop, Sony's going to drop more information because their games aren't going to be coming out. They're delaying their games. And again, it's because of what's going on around the world, they don't have, they can't control the supply lines. So you have all these people, like the guy at GameStop told me, they got all these people, they got The Last of Us Part Two reserved physically and they can't get the game. So, I mean, you know, it's just, it's, it's bad out there. And uh, there was no way to uh, get people their money back so that they could buy it digitally. And then what if you bought the uh, collector's model? What if you actually bought the collector's model? Are you going to not buy that? You know, so. <laughs> so. Uh, you don't think Xbox will fail? Yeah, I don't think it will either. So. Well, Impatient Fire is all they got. You know, I mean, I'm not saying that to be funny. It's all they got. So, um, and uh, they don't have exclusive content. They they don't have anything exclusive to play. So, all you're gonna all they're gonna talk about is well, Assassin's Creed needs to look better on on this console and whatever Assassin's Creed, uh, whatever multi-plat game is the flavor of the month. It's got to look better on this console. It's got to look better. This is why when. Um, when Red Dead Redemption 2 lost game of the year to God of War, it broke them in half. It broke them in half because they were they're they're still searching for a game that they want to say, only on the Xbox will you be able to play the game like this, you know. But and they thought Red Dead Redemption was going to be their, you know, their Michelangelo. He, that's what they thought. And when it lost to a PlayStation game and it was a PlayStation exclusive. It really hurt their feelings. I mean, they went, they, they, 
after that happened, that's when you saw all those people start defecting, so to speak, and buying PlayStations. They literally were saying, nah, we're not, you know, play, there is nothing to play over here. You know, so, I mean, Rockstar is about as good a developer as you can get, and they still lost to a Sony first-party studio, and they were upset about it, so. <laughs> uh, you heard that the Series X, I would expect the Xbox One and the PS5 to both be delayed. That's that's just, I hope I'm wrong, but I think they're both going to be delayed, so. And, uh, and don't be shocked if they are. Don't throw a fit if they are. There's just, there's no, there's no supply line at this point. There is no supply line. Hold on. Hello? What? A, no. I put them in the China closet. And it's on the... Second row. I don't know what you've done with them because I didn't. Okay. Well, I mean, I'll look for it here, but I, I put them down. I put them in a china closet. No, I just put them right there. I said, I handed them to you. You said, I got mine, so I'll put them in China closet. Yeah. But I have to, I'm, well, look, but I have to go on podcasting right now. Okay. Okay. Bye bye. Ah, all right. <laughs> well, that was my business line. So, but uh, that's what was ringing. So, don't be surprised the next time. I, I won't be. I, I would not be. But anyway, look, that's the way the PS5, uh, yeah, that's their IO in a nutshell. I mean, if you want more information on that, uh, go to the, um, go to that. I left that link there. And uh, AMV's checkmate. And again, that, that's just fundamentally what the differences are going to be in these consoles is the way that you get your information. Um, if you're under the impression that a game that comes out, if it's going to be 4K on the PlayStation, it's going to be 4K on the Xbox as well. Okay, they if it's going to be 60 frames on the Xbox, it's going to be 60 frames on the PlayStation. There's not going to be any differences in these games at all when they come out so it's just it is what it is so it <laughs> just it is what it is so um but uh yeah i just wanted to go over that and um does anybody have any major questions so uh let's see here i do not see any questions can't you charge back on credit cards or do they have a downside of that not sure Best Buy is open here. Yeah, it's different everywhere, Eric, that, and that's the point. I mean, could they ship it to one store and then ship everything out? No, that's going to overburden that one store. So, I mean, again, I've got the last that was part to reserve that GameStop. So I need GameStop to open so that I can either walk in there physically and cancel the pre-order or put more money down on my pre-order. Right now, I can't do that. So, I mean, right, and so that's unfair to me. So when people say, well, they should release the game digitally, they would lose a lot of money on that because there's a lot of people who've got their games reserved physically. They would have to give that money back. They would have to take that out of these stores, whether you bought it at uh, Walmart or Best Buy or GameStop or Game Exchange or wherever. I mean, you can't physically walk in and get your stuff. So it's um it's, it sucks, but I certainly hope um, it's been delayed from May. So maybe they just push it back to July. I I've been hearing early summer is when they plan on releasing it. It's early summer. So 
Where is Xbox Series X bottleneck going to be? Uh, well, we just, I mean, if you want to really know more about that, you need to watch the Cortec video, okay? That's just what you're going to have to do. I'm, you know, I'm not talking about the Series X. My name of this podcast is not the bottleneck of, of Xbox Series X. So you have to go somewhere else and watch and get that. So um, I talked about the Crytek dev or devs, you know, what he said. And uh, the PS5 news is the PS5 IO. And there's more to the IO than this, but uh, I just kind of wrote down the highlights of what he was saying. So, um, when Patient Fire, yeah, exclusives are important, but because they don't have any exclusives, uh, they don't they don't think they're important. So they totally just they they, you know, they just shrug their shoulders at them. So even though, yeah, again, they don't have a Zelda, they don't have a Mario, they don't have that. Okay, they don't have that. So to them, it's just not important. So. Um, are they on a proper can? Uh, yes, they are. Yeah, they, they're just lying at this point. Yeah, they're lying. But they're lying because um, they they want they want they want people to question what Sony is doing so that they go buy an Xbox. That's all this is about. OK, that's that's their long term plan. We got to get people to not buy the PlayStation. PlayStation will lose money. Then they will start putting games on all platforms because they want to play the games. That's the truth. Now, they look at it and they say, well, you know, uh, they, they say there's nothing. This is not that big a deal to them. But again, it, it is a big deal when you are just you're outright lying about stuff. I mean, they are. They're just lying at this point. So. Um, <laughs> they're, they are important, but what gives the uh, console its legs is its is its. Um, exclusive content you know that's just that's the truth so well that dolphin game is going to come out on pc so if multi-plats are important why buy more studios they're buying the studios so that they can put games on game pass like they they do not have the ability to keep buying third-party games and putting them on game pass you know, and third-party developers are not going to put games on Game Pass day and day. They're not going to do that. They will lose too much money. So Microsoft has to go ahead and put, uh, get more studios so that they can make, you know, make content and then they can put the games on Game Pass. That's what they're doing. So, I mean, that's, so they'll have a lot of first-party content on Game Pass. That's exactly what they're doing. So... And uh, it's like they're they're talking about ray tracing and again. And see, Cortec even said that the 36 CUs on PlayStation at clock at the speed that they're at is going to perform similar to what uh, Xbox Series X has with their 52. Now that's from him. That is from him. Xbox again does have an advantage when it comes to ray tracing. Their ray tracing should be a little better. Than the PlayStation, but then you're going to get into what, who is going to use it, you know, who is going to use ray tracing at that rate when you already have people saying it's just going to be something that is kind of like, all right, the the character's hair may look a little better, and you're going to get into this diminished returns, you know. I mean, these guys are running around saying that you know PlayStation wasn't going to have any ray tracing at all. It was already in a one. Then it was RDNA 1.5. Then it was RDNA 2, but it was RDNA light. I mean, they were just lying, you know, so. <laughs> so. Uh, Sony has to do is get Ubisoft's Hungry Shark World from Android and kill that one. Well, I mean, again, there's nothing wrong with that dolphin game at all. It's just that's one reason I'm not buying it. I mean, I don't have to worry about that dolphin game at, at all. You know, I don't. <laughs> I don't have to worry about it because I'm not buying a Series X. I don't know. When I hear these guys say multi-plats are going to probably look better on the Series X, they got another thing coming, but I just, I, I don't know what else to say at this point. It's it's just silly to get to go back and forth with them. Again, if if the new Assassin's Creed game is going to be 4K on the Series X, it's going to be 4K on the PlayStation, okay? If, the, if it's 60 frames a second on the PlayStation, 
it will be 60 frames a second on Series X. Tell me, tell me where your differences are. You see what I'm saying? I mean, it's just they're not there. But uh, you have to let them, if they, if they need to think that they are, that's it. But we'll have to wait and see. So is it a big enough difference where uh, you're, it's going to be a noticeable difference? No. No. So ray tracing saps a lot of resources. With uh, Yeah, I, again, I'm not, I mean, that's a good point, um, uh, impatient fire and I'm not look it's, it'd be great to see how Sony and Microsoft work around that and I am excited for that like what are they going to do what what is AMD got that's going to work around that you know because I'm not here to say that they can't I'm just here to say I need to see the workaround now I am willing I'm the guy that's always saying you know let's wait for some real world testing to come out but I do agree with Cortec that you're not going to see <laughs> You're going to see very little to no difference with these games at all, especially these multi plat games. So, uh, Series X will do a little bit more. It, 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 it might. I'm not here to say that it won't. I just I need to see it in action. So, but uh, again, like I said, you've got a lot of ignorant people out there. So, um, that uh, they, uh, they think the T flops are going to make a difference, and it's just not going to. And that's not just coming from me. I mean, they're not making a difference right now. I mean, Xbox X is the most powerful console out there, and these guys have already stopped talking about it, and they're talking about the new console. They're just, it's like they said the heck with Xbox X. So, you know, just it is what it is. So, fools getting excited for a less than 10% difference in resolution. Well, we'll have to wait and see if that's what it really is. The early, the raw number is 12 to 16% which is very little difference at all. So, again, we'll just have to wait and see. Just have to wait and see. Uh, the T-flop would have made a difference. Actually, they could have went with 10 T-flops and, uh, and, um, and 40 CUs or 48 CUs. I mean, it wouldn't have, <laughs> you know, it's just a matter of how you're going to deliver the information. So... Think console devs will find a way to make it work. Yeah, I agree. I, I don't disagree. So, um, but that's but I'm again, I'm willing to wait and see what they come up with. I mean, let's I'm, I'm willing to wait and see what they come up with. You have a lot of people who are up there saying things like, um, you know, you have a lot of people up there saying things that it's going to be a huge difference and stuff like that. I'm just like, well, based on what, you know. Based on what? So, but uh, yeah, I mean, again, uh, you would get PS5 with five T flops. Well, that pretty much is what the Pro is, and it like four point three or something like that, or four point four. So you're almost at five T flops now. Um, well, Cerny said that. Cerny said that the thirty six is the Navi CUs are equivalent to what, like, 50, yeah, 52 or 58 uh, CUs. But again, that's, that's, we'll have to wait and see. So we'll have to wait and see. That, that's what I keep, I, I keep imploring people, just to wait and see what they come up with. Um, you know, if that's true, then we'll, we'll find out soon enough. So, so study of VR. <laughs> Um, well, again, they, they, they are, because uh, my whole question is, if Sony's uh, developers, uh, first party, um, if Sony's, if, um, if Sony's the uh, baseball game, what happens when they start developing games off that SSD? All right, not this year, or not next year. Obviously, they're not going to do that. But hey, so they're not going to go in there and say, we're not going to use the Sony technology. It's not our fault that you're... Your Xbox can't do these things. And again, I'm not. And we're talking about two to three years down the road. So, boy, again, I'm not worried about it because I'll always have the console where the first party developer works for Sony. So, uh, so I'm not, I don't have to worry about that for MLB. Just, you know, just for me personally. So um, this gen will make fools realize that T flop T. Well, again, impatient fire, but Digital Foundry said that uh, they said that about teraflops. I don't know about the the compute units, but that's what we're gonna find out. 
if um, but again, if Remedy's already said they're going to have ray tracing on their games, if this other company that um, I mean it was an independent developer, they said it. Uh, you've had Ubisoft confirm it. You've had IO Entertainment, I think, um, talk about it. So it's fine. I, I mean, I don't know what will happen. So uh, you all, I thought the. Um, I thought the Xbox has a dedicated audio chip. So, um, I mean, again, so you be playing MLB The Show. Again, how? I can't go pick it up at GameStop. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, I can't get my MLB The Show. I can't get my uh, Predator game when it comes out. I, my, um, I, didn't, I didn't reserve Resident Evil 3, so I'm okay there. But, um, yeah, all that is up there, right around the corner from me. But they're closed. So, um, you know, it's just so, I mean, it's just, it's it's frustrating. But uh, worst case scenario for me, I will go get it on the 17th. I mean, I will go get it on the 17th because my computer will go into the shop. Yeah, but then I lose what I have at GameStop. You see what I'm saying? Which is fine. Yeah, I can buy it digitally, but I would lose what I have at GameStop. So I would want to get my money out of GameStop and then make the digital purchase. Buy the PSN card and I'll make the purchase. So, so you should get the 3080 Ti. That's great. Yeah, that is that is great news. <laughs> so Xbox. Even if Xbox has a 3080 Ti, you wouldn't get it because they have. Yeah, I mean, again, and look, I'm not here to say that their devs won't won't carry through. I, I'm happy that their devs. Look, I'm happy they got more studios, and for the people that are going to buy Series X, like Foxy and BitCloud, I'm happy for those guys. But for me personally, I'm getting one console. <laughs> So again, I, I I can that allows me to specialize on one console. Um, the Series X, their their own boss said that the Series X is not going to have anything exclusive for it for two years. So give or take. So I'll check it out in two years. I mean, I will. In 2022, 2023, I'll walk into the store. If they say, yeah, these seven games you, you can only play on the Series X, you know, I'll be like, oh, all right, I'll take the Series X, you know. But uh, that's two, three years down the line. Ah, yeah. So, uh, so it's good, you know. So I'm happy. I'm not impressed with any of the double A devs they got. The only dev they got they could push graphics is Ninja Theory. Well, we have to wait and see what they got. Okay, let's wait and see what they got. I mean, I'm, I'm not, I'm not down on the Xbox. I'm just, I'm not buying it. So I it just, I can just, it's whatever. It's like an iPhone. I will never own an iPhone. Okay, so I'm not, but I'm not gonna sit up there and hate on the iPhone. I'll just buy Android. Android is the dominant phone of the market space. So, of course, I'm going to buy an Android phone. Um, you know, Apple is a niche product, just like the Xbox is. Xbox is going to be a niche product. It's just that's where it's going to be. I'm not knocking it. I'm not. It's just not for me anymore. So, but Ninja, there is nothing wrong with Ninja Theory at all. I thought that was a great get, Okay. Um, I'm excited for uh, Hellblade 2. Why not? I liked Hellblade 1. I'm excited for the flight simulator game. So I'm, you know, I'm good. You know, I'm good. I'm happy. So. Hmm. Now, if I had an iPad and an and a i and a Mac, I would get an iPhone. It makes sense. But uh, when, when Android is like over 40, or not 40, it's like over 60% of the market. So there's just no way for me. I'm just not getting one. <laughs> so, but yeah, that was about it, guys. I'm going to get on off here. So the PS5 version of MLB will have different features because of DualShock 5. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. That's fine. And when they, when they announce that, I will be the first one to cover it. <laughs> 
What is going on with this Ezra Miller thing? Um, they're saying that uh, Ezra Miller is either going to be it needs to be recast or cancel it. They can't cancel it because they still employ Amber Heard, and Amber Heard outright lied on Johnny Depp. So, <laughs> you know, but uh, yeah. Um. Eaton just subscribed. Good. Hello, hello, hello. Appreciate you being here. Hit the like button there. Um, says it got X uh, 100. Uh, I don't know what I'm saying, man. Uh, the X has 40% more power. The Series S has 20%. Um, again, not true based on raw specs. It's 12 to 4. It's 12 to 16%. But again, it's just your, <laughs> you know. Uh, but we'll have to wait and see. The way it's deployed. So, yeah, we're going to have to wait and see what, how it's deployed. But, guys, that was about it. I'm going to jump on off here because uh, I do have to help this woman try to find her keys. So, um, I have no idea what she did with them. I dropped them off to her yesterday. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> so, Xbox is as relevant as Windows Phone. Uh, well, the Windows Phone wasn't a very good phone. Uh, it wasn't. I mean, even the people who sold them, they, they were saying it ain't very good. So, you know. Yeah, game goons, look, if you want to come into the Discord and have a debate, we can. Because you, this guy on Twitter still thinks that power is more important than exclusives. Okay? And as long as that's where you are, you're going you're gonna to always be at odds with the Nintendo crowd and the Sony crowd, because they don't believe that. They do not care as much about power as you do. So, just it is what it is. So, the Hulk is saying that all he needs, <laughs> the consoles need to come out this year. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, they might. I mean, didn't AMD and Sony and Microsoft say they're still on course for them to come out? So, that's, that's great. That's great. So... Uh, they hated Hellblade because they did not um, they did not have access to it. It's like they hated Near Automata. I mean, they hated No Man's Sky. I mean, we can go on and on and on. The hypocrisy is what's crazy about it to me. Now, exclusive games are anti-consumer. When Microsoft held games like Oblivion and and um, the other game, um, good grief, I can see it. I can't think of the name of it. But uh, they held games like Oblivion off of the PlayStation. They held, I mean, they did. They did. So um, it's just, it's crazy. So exclusive games are power. Yeah, I know, but he doesn't think that. He thinks that um, the power is more important, but he can't explain. He cannot explain why the Xbox X is absolutely getting thrashed out there. They're, they're already, they already gave up on Xbox X. And they're talking about the Series X. So if power was that important, why can't you explain why the uh, that new Resident Evil game is running a lot better? You know, it's running a lot better. So, so uh, on the uh, on the PlayStation. So uh, you're seeing Spider-Man and Just Cause Four on PS Now for April. PS Now, really? Well, Just Cause 4, I thought that was already available. So, but Insomniac is a first on, is a first party studio. So, and Spider-Man came out, oh man, when did that come out? Was that last, that was last year, wasn't it? So it came out last year. Cool. But uh, that's about it, guys. But, uh, oh, yeah, so it'll be on PS now for what? April, May, and June through the summer. Hell, I may play that again because that, that Peter Parker goes raw. <laughs> so Black Cat, the, Black Cat said that she had his kid and Peter Parker had to sit up there and think about it because he had went raw with Black Cat. So <laughs> I'm like, okay, now Spider-Man is my second favorite hero. He was kind of down on the ladder, 
but the mere fact that he went raw, that brought him up to number two. Uh, he was still behind Black Panther, okay? But I got to put him ahead of Captain America and Tony Stark and because, like, he was just swinging through the city talking about, I can be a baby daddy. <laughs> Oh my goodness gracious. That was probably one of the funniest things I did. It's like, uh, well, I gotta go tell him he was like, here to go tell Mary Jane, I can be a baby daddy. <laughs> so, oh my goodness gracious. And don't forget all the stuff about Spider-Man. The puddles was wrong, and, and the light was off. Deadpool's your favorite Marvel character. Yeah, I, again, Deadpool, that, that first Deadpool movie was hilarious. Hilarious. So, um, yeah, I enjoyed I didn't know Deadpool's character at all. And I went to that movie and saw it and just rolled. The, the, I was on the floor most of the time and stuff that guy was saying. So Deadpool Part 2 wasn't as good as Deadpool 1. But, uh you know, I love what he said to Cable about him being so dark. You know, like, are you sure you're not from the DC Cinematic Universe? <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that, that's why I like that Spider-Man game. Like, you had to swing through the city wondering if you were baby daddy. That's like the only game like that. Only Insomniac would come up with some crazy stuff like that. Like, we're going to make it so he can be a baby daddy, and then when he's swinging through the city, he's going to reference it. <laughs> yeah, I, I heard No Man's Sky. I, I'm going to have to get that again, because I, I bought it when it came out, and it took me like six weeks, but I beat it. Uh, but yeah, they've added all this stuff to it. I may pick it up again. And it has VR support, correct? Doesn't it have VR support? So. <laughs> but yeah, guys, that's it. Remember, the IOs, I just wanted to tell you all the difference between the IOs. The Series X IO is a lot slower. Uh, again, I'm not going to get into the whole thing. I'll let somebody who's actually going to buy the Series X. Maybe BitCloud can do a podcast today explaining why the Series X's uh, I.O. The interface is going to be that much lower. Yeah, I'm going to pick up No Man's Sky probably next week. So, uh, But, yeah, it's uh, ridiculously slower. Uh, yeah, the Almighty Spartan God, I understand that. And uh, we'll just have to wait and see their work around, and I'm excited for that. I certainly hope the people that are buying it, are they can find out some information about it. The Velocity engine seems cool. I'm sure it is. I'm not here to say that it's not. Um, now they're talking about DX12. It's going to do all this stuff. But weren't they talking about, was it a DX11? They were talking about a, a couple of years ago how it was going to allow all this new stuff. But again, it just, man, these guys are clowns. So, you know, they are clowns. But all right, guys, I'm going to get on off here. I do appreciate you all coming. Been here for about an hour and 15 minutes. I'm going to watch some news. And uh, play some Assassin's Creed. I'll probably be streaming that in the next 20 minutes. So check that out for me, guys.